Hi, and welcome to part 20 of how to build an e-commerce website using Django and Vue.js. In this part, I'm going to make it possible to add reviews for products. The first thing I need is a new model. I'm going to add this on the models.py inside the store. So below the product image, I create a new model called class product review models.model first thing I need here is the reference to the product. I can just copy this from here. Reviews. I also need a foreign key for the user who adds the review. User reviews. And then I need to import the user model. Do this on the top from Django.contrib.auth.models import user like that. Then I want the product review to have a content models.text field blank equals true null equals true. So this can be empty if the user just want to leave a star stars equals models dot integer field like that and I want the date added I can copy this as well from up here and save I also want to import this to the admin interface together with the rest admin.site register product review so we get it in the admin interface then I need to update the database python manage.py make migrations python manage.py migrate then we can just run the server again then I can go into the product detail.html and below the related products add the HR and the title review no sorry subtitle reviews and on top here I want to loop through the reviews div class reviews wrapper just wrap them in div for review in product dot reviews dot all and for div class notification just want to show a very simple box notification paragraph strong and then I can show the date it was added review dot date added and then I pipe this value into a filter that Django has called date so just want to show the year the month and the date no the day below here sorry it should be a comma because I want to show it next to this stars review dot stars and below here we show the content if there is one review dot content if the product doesn't have any reviews we can show a message as well just use the empty tag like this div class notification no reviews yet so now I can go into a product to see this reviews no reviews yet perfect before I continue I just want to say thanks to my patreons if you too want to support me you will find a link to my patreon in the description below below here I want to show the form for adding reviews create a new div class notification so the form can be wrapped in a box as well 
Here I want to check if the user is signed in. If request dot user is authenticated. And if it is, I want to show a form form method post action and then I pass in the CSRF token. I want the field for the stars. Div class control label stars. And in here I want to show a select. First I need to add the div class select. This is some Bulma thing. Select name stars option value is sorry one that I can copy this five times and just change to one two three four five one two three four five I want to set three as default selected load this field I create one more div class field Label content div class control text area class text area name is content and below here I add the button for submitting the form div class control button class button is success so it's nice and green submit but if you are not signed in I should want to add an else here and show a message please sign in to add review and save so if I refresh now I get this message please sign in to add review I want some space between these two so to do that I add a new class space below and I can add these to all of the notifications like this go into main.css and add a new class here notification.space below margin bottom 20 pixels like that looks a little bit better Okay, just want to sign in so I can see the form. So if I go back here into the product, I can now see a very simple form. Perfect. Nothing happens if I try to submit it because I haven't added the code to the views.py yet. So first I import the product review model. And inside product detail on the top here, add review, just add a comment to separate it a little bit. If request that method equals post, then we want to get the data from the form. Stars equals request dot post dot get stars. Set the default to three. Content request dot post dot get content you can default empty if it hasn't been filled out. Review equals product review dot objects dot create stars. Okay, first add a product product user equals request dot user stars equals stars content equals content this reminds me that i want to check here as well if the request dot user is authenticated as well and then below here i want to redirect the user back to the product return redirect product detail category slug it's just this one slug equals slug which is this one because it's the same product as you are in and save so 
So we can just try to refresh. Very good product. Submit. Scroll down. And now we have this. Perfect. So I can add one more test. So now we have two products. But we want to show the rating for the product somewhere as well. I want this to be added next to the price tag. So if I go up here, there, I say comma stars product dot get rating and save. I need to create this function. I do this on the model def get rating self because I need to reference the class you're in total equals sum int so I just want to convert it to an integer to be sure review stars for review in self dot reviews dot values return total divided by self dot reviews dot count so I get the number of reviews and divide it by the value of all the stars combined. I added it in the wrong model because it's need to be in the product. Sorry. And save. So if I now refresh, I'll see that I have a stars and the value is three. If I add one more test two. You see that we get so many decibels here. This is very easy to fix. Just go back here, add a new pipe, float format, comma, and just put one decimal and save. Perfect. And that was it for this part. Hope you enjoyed it. And if you liked it, please click like below. See you next time.